Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Popesh. So welcome back today. Uh, we are gonna learn another new topic: how to enable emails, email alerting uh, in in Elasticsearch using Logtash email plugin. So what you have done uh, in the you know, previous videos in the same playlist, we have enabled Elasticsearch Kibana uh, version seven, version eight. With SSL and other videos, but today we have not, we haven't talked about how to email, you know, enable uh, emails via email alerting. Okay, so today we are going to very uh, today we'll understand very basic uh, alerting over email using Logtash, you know, module. So what is the prerequisite? Prerequisite definitely you need to have Elasticsearch running on Ubuntu machine, Kibando running on Ubuntu machine. Install Logtash if you do not have watched. My previous video, how to do that, I will you know, put a link in the description. Please check it from there. And then install file beat and get all the logs from this Ubuntu box to your Elasticsearch. Now, this is what we are going to do it today, the last uh, point. So today we need to configure alerts via logs dash email plugin option. So let's quickly jump onto the practical implementation of this use case without wasting any time. Okay. Uh, do not forget to like and subscribe the channel, which is very important if you really want to understand uh, the uh, videos or you know use cases and pertaining to Elasticsearch, Grafana, Kubernetes, AWS Cloud, and so many Python hacks also. Okay, let's get back back to the business. Uh, I have created a GitHub page for this. Uh, I'll just show you that GitHub page. This is the GitHub page I'm talking about, where you'll be enabling the alerting via lock dash. So what are the uh, prerequisite definitely you need to have a elk installed on your ubuntu machine uh, you can refer this documentation which will be there in the description section and this is how you need to set up your elk uh, on your uh, ubuntu machine then we'll be using this uh, logstash email plugin to uh, quickly send uh, emails and how we'll you know send emails so this is a okay maybe i need to just email plugin of logstash okay it's correct that link that's not a problem so this is what i'm okay this is the email uh, plugin so we'll be using this uh, quick uh, an example from this elastic search documentation we'll be sending uh, an email uh, from logstash and then sending it to your gmail or any other email id right or team anything so we'll be using this uh, a gmail smtp server right because we don't have any smtp server as of now so let's quickly get started so what is the uh, first thing is definitely you need to have a elastic certain kibana running on a machine so i already have a kibana running on my machine uh, i can quickly yes. okay system cts status kibana my kibana is little status Elastic search, my Elastic search is also running both good. So let's see whether we have Logtash also running or not. So I already have a Logtash running. Uh, you can follow my previous video. So this video is not about installing Elastic search Kibana in Logtash. It is all about you know understanding how to. Okay, Logtash is stop because I need to configure some related activities. We'll do it right away as we speak. So. What do you need to do? First of all, you need to go to the configuration directory of Logstash and then see uh, what all configurations we have it as of now. So this is the Logstash configuration. The first file is nothing but your uh, the input. So basically in Logstash pipeline, you have three inputs, uh, three uh, things. Input and then filter and then output. Input is something, your all the data will come onto this port 504 port Logstash URL, which is on, on installed on the same box. And then the second one is nothing but the uh, your uh, configuration. So what I'm saying, I'm doing, I'm creating a filter uh, also. So whenever, so what is this filter is all about? Whenever in my message I have a file beat keyword, so please create another tag. You can get more details on this filter and how to create it. You please create a tag called as Bupesh Sharma. And to all the records wherever my message contains or document contains file beat. Now output is nothing but I'm sending all the log test data to Elasticsearch uh, local host, which is 9200. And then this is that uh, an email configuration I'm talking about. So you can simply 
uh, refer this documentation also. But what I'm doing in this, let's see quickly. So if in my tags, this is a string, I can quickly fire an alert. And then it's the email session I'm talking about. The email will go to this guy, okay, this email ID. This is a dummy, you can put any name. And this will be subject test alert. And the tags will, it will give all your tags that is there in that, uh, in the record. There's an SMTP server we are using, a Gmail SMTP server, port number 587 indication pin as uh, TLS true now username would be your email id if you're using gmail otherwise uh, you can use any smtp username and password now interestingly what's the password for this you know uh, setting so i can create an app password from this gmail and then i'll plug in that password here okay so before i do that first of all let me run the log test and see whether the tags are coming or not okay so this is what has been explained here Right, you need to go to this location, edit this file, and make sure that you have everything uh, place. I've already captured and captured in the documentation, and then uh, simply run the log test first. Okay, post that I will insert the email, uh, you know, password. I'll tell you how to create a password, but I'll take it very slow. So first of all, I'll start the log test. Okay, status log test is start. It's just started. Now you can see uh, the logs of uh, log stash in this location, CD where log stash. So I'll create another window. I think I've already created it. Okay, and then I'll do a tail of this, right? So I'll just see, okay, log stash has been started. Yeah, so you see starting pipeline, the log stash is running fine now, okay? But it will not send any emails, uh, you know, alerting emails to the Gmail because I have not put my password over there. First of all, let me see whether the tag has been created or not. So I'll go to my Kibana. Okay. I'll take last. Um, 15 minutes. Okay. Let me do a local host. Okay. I've open a fresh i'll go to discover i should be able to see that index of file b and i'll do the i want to quickly see the i want to see last 15 minutes suppose Let me do it like last 15 minutes directly. Okay. So sorry. Uh, so last 15 minutes, nothing is coming. Uh, let me see whether file beat is there or not. Yeah, I'm getting that authentication error. It's okay, because my file beat is not running. Okay. So first of all, let me fix this. Uh, maybe that is the reason I'm not getting my data onto the uh, Kibana. So how to generate this? app password this is again important to understand i'm going very very slow so you can come to your gmail suppose this is my gmail okay gmail account you come here and then you go to manage your google account okay and then go to security fine and then you come here and then at the bottom uh, you search google accounts app passwords okay you come here and then you generate one second is asking me to do the authentication it's okay fine so i'll do a uh, alerting huh? i'll create this is my 20 digit password okay i'll just simply come here and then paste this thing here for time being So you need to remove the white spaces in between. Correct. Then copy this thing. Okay. Come to your box. Sudo vim insert. Then simply paste this 20 digit. Let me quickly verify. Okay, this is a one. I'll just save it. 
I'll stop my lock dash because I'm getting this error in my right. So I'm stopping my lock dash, shutting down. See. Okay. Okay, the pipeline is draining. So let me first of all quickly uh, stop Kibana so that the drain can happen properly. Okay, so <clears throat> I've drained that error. I've restarted my lock test. Let me see if it is working fine now. Okay, it says running. Uh, let me see the log. Okay, I'm still getting the authentication error. Oh, why? So I'm not getting emails. Yes, I'm not getting emails. Okay. Okay, so I started the log stash bit of some hiccup but yeah we see the configuration that has been modified i have put that password here and i've added that tag here let me see if there's any error so fortunately there are no email uh, password error now hopefully everything is fine now let me go to the give on let me see whether the data is coming or not Okay, let me do a refresh of last 15 minutes. So data is serving. Let me perfect. So let me see if file beat is running or not, first of all. Yeah, file beat is so it should pick up the data and see the tag okay the status let me see the status so the log stash is running fine let me go back to my logs there is no issue okay let me go back to my email okay yeah i'm getting email pertaining to this uh, tag right so whatever tag i've given i'm getting emails related to that so now coming back to this elastic search let me search the tags okay i'm getting this tag also so i've set up an alert wherever uh, my uh, tag is having bupesh sharma please uh, fire an alert so you can see it will fire an alert on all these columns perfect so this is what we have done in the documentation also yeah so we have got to that file we have copied that location from the log stash binary status stop start status so, so the only you know only thing to understand what we have done here is uh, we have created the so app password here you know uh, in the uh, and how to remove that app password you can remove that password from here like this okay now this password is no more uh, you know you know used it can you think it cannot be used okay so yeah that is pretty much uh, on this aspect on this use case so uh, please let's quickly review what we have done first of all we have installed your uh, elastic search kimana already we have installed log stash in previous uh, video but what we have done today we have configured that log stash to add another alert so we had another tag which tag with the help of tag, I'm setting an uh, alerts from Gmail to any email basically. Okay, uh, with the help of app password. So that is how we can do uh, alerting, uh, you know, via open source. So see, Elasticsearch in cloud, they offer already all these integrations uh, with the help of uh, Elasticsearch cloud feature. But with the help of open source, we can generate alerting like this. So, so we have covered this alerting using lock touch plugin yeah this was already there this is already there both these things are there so let me quickly uh, you know uh, summarize what we have done and uh, let's catch up in our next session we'll um, do more alerting now onto the kibana screen itself rather than uh, doing 
modification the logs test pipeline uh, let us know if if you you know want a many other topic into the comment section and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel we'll catch you later okay for now thank you bye bye